EDMCS Alternate Hierarchy. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up node types, viewpoints, converters, and subscriptions for a dimension containing an alternate hierarchy. In this example, I will show you how to add an alternate hierarchy to the entity dimension for a financial close application. Prerequisite, I have registered an FCCS application and loaded data to the entity dimension. We can see the main hierarchy for the entity dimension rolls up to FCCS underscore total geography. We will be creating an alternate hierarchy called tax hierarchy for the entity dimension. Create a node type for the alternate hierarchy in the entity dimension, select the entity dimension from the FCCS application and assign a name. I have assigned the name entity tax for this example. Copy the property shown in the main entity node type to the new one you've created. Add a new hierarchy set and select the entity tax node type in the definition tab. Add a new node set and assign it to the new entity tax hierarchy set. Build the node type to converter to convert the main entity node type to the entity tax node type. To build the converter, click on add by source node type. The property should be automatically set to copy for all. Since the alternate hierarchy should have the data storage set to store, we need to change the operation for the data storage property to transform. Click on the DX symbol to add an expression and type shared in the return box. Repeat the process to build a node type converter for the main entity node type. Convert the entity tax node type to the main entity node type, leaving all operations as copy. Go to Views and click on Actions Inspect Definition for the FCCS view and add a new viewpoint. In this example, I have called the new viewpoint Entity Tax and assign the Entity Tax node set created in Step 4. Verify the new viewpoint is present and add the top node for the alternate hierarchy Entity Tax under both the main hierarchy and the alternate hierarchy. Click on the three dots next to the Entity Tax viewpoint and choose Inspect Subscriptions. Create a new subscription by selecting the FCCS main entity dimension as the source viewpoint. Click on the three dots next to the main entity viewpoint and use the same method to add a subscription. With the Entity Tax viewpoint as the source viewpoint, turn on Auto Submit for the main entity subscription. This will allow any changes posted to the alternate hierarchy to be automatically pushed to the main hierarchy. The setup is complete. Try adding a node to the main hierarchy. The user should receive a request to add the same node to the entity tax viewpoint. Please note that data storage property has been converted to shared. Drag and drop the new node to the appropriate parent and the user should see the same member appear in the main hierarchy under the same member. This method uses two subscriptions, one from the main viewpoint to alternate viewpoint and one from the alternate viewpoint back to the main viewpoint, but under an alternate hierarchy. This method lets the user apply node type property changes and maintain the alternate hierarchy in a separate viewpoint. And don't forget to join us for our open mic series. Every Wednesday and Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Central Time, we answer your questions on cloud computing. Thank you.